Tesla's deliveries, they crushed it. They absolutely blew it out of the water. They stuck a middle finger to the auto industry and said, how dare you criticize us? How dare you Wall Street shorts give us the finger and treat us like garbage? They showed the world that they will take over the entire auto industry. Or did they? Welcome back, everybody. We got to talk about some interesting videos that I saw, and I haven't watched them, right? I haven't watched them. But I see some interesting titles here that kind of indicate the whole purpose of the video. Tesla crushes Q1 deliveries as media gets owned. This is from Solving the Money Problem, Stephen Mark Ryan. Very popular Tesla YouTuber. And then we have Farzad Mesbahi, former Tesla employee and who, in my opinion, I think he's a massive scammer. Tesla achieves record production and deliveries in Q1 2023. So if you follow these people, Farzad and Stephen Mark Ryan, amongst other Tesla shields, there's a lot of them out there. You would think that Tesla just absolutely blew it out of the water. Now, wouldn't you? Well, I went ahead and looked at the numbers myself because I like to verify my sources independently. I don't trust people like Farzad who build their channel on promoting a high, highly popular cult stock that will guarantee you followers because his motivations may not be just because he loves Tesla. His motivations may also include he can get a lot of money by promoting Tesla, even if he doesn't necessarily believe in it. And I'm not saying he doesn't believe that Tesla is a great company, but I'm saying there is a motivation. There is a reason that somebody would pump Tesla stock regardless of the fundamentals. And this guy has proven multiple times <laughs> that he doesn't even know how to read a statement of cash flows. But whatever, that doesn't matter. Apparently that doesn't matter anymore. So here is Tesla's vehicle production and deliveries and date for financial results for first quarter 2023. So this usually precedes the earnings. Now, what happened with Tesla? Well, we all know that Tesla slashed prices because they wanted to juice up growth. They wanted to juice up sales at the expense of margins, which is a normal business decision. I'm not going to knock Tesla for that. But it's very concerning to me that Tesla would have to cut their prices up to 20% in some scenarios and really not see crazy amounts of growth. Now, remember Elon Musk, our, our hero Elon Musk, said that Tesla was going to have 50% compounded annual growth in deliveries, sales, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then when those sales figures decline, massively, by the way, it just gets brushed under the rug like it didn't matter. Or, they'll just, or they just say something like, oh, it's gonna, we'll get back to it in the future. If you think about it clearly, Tesla is just trying to sustain their, their insane stock market valuation for as long as they possibly can. Because everybody in the company that owns shares is incentivized to keep that stock price up. The company can issue more shares and get more money per share that they issue. Elon Musk stays a massive, insanely wealthy billionaire. All the employees can exercise their stock options and make a fortune off of Tesla. All of these people that work for Tesla, they're incentivized to keep the stock price up. And they will do whatever they need to do. And they will say whatever they need to say to make sure the stock price goes up or stays up, at least for a limited amount of time. Now, I don't think Tesla, I think Tesla's massively overvalued, massively overvalued. I think it's a luxury car company that is trading at least four, five, six times higher than it should. 100% believe that. But people get mad about that. But I want to show you something here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little sick. I want to show you something here. Look at the deliveries for the most recent quarter. 422,000. This was after they cut their prices. Wouldn't you imagine that their deliveries would absolutely skyrocket if they cut their prices because Teslas are in such demand, right? People would just will bend over backwards to get a Tesla. You would imagine deliveries would go out of to the stratosphere, right? Well, if you look and you do some research, you can see that Tesla deliveries grew 4% from the previous quarter. Very weak growth, by the way. I don't see 50% compounded growth there. And 36% higher than a year ago. So even after cutting their prices, their deliveries only grew 36% when the valuation of the stock seems to be 50% growth. That's what seems to be priced in. 
Now, let's go ahead and do a little bit further research. So if you go ahead and annualize Tesla's growth from 4% quarter over quarter, that's an 18% annualized growth rate for Tesla deliveries. 18%. Yeah, that's great growth. Yeah, that's crushing the other auto industry. That's that's crushing the other auto manufacturers, of course, because Tesla's a newer company. But is that a far cry from 50%? Oh, yes. That is very far from 50%. And on top of that, they've cut their prices. So their revenue growth has massively slowed down. Their delivery growth has massively slowed down. And their margins are going to collapse. Oh, they, they are. People deny it, but their margins are going to go down. Okay? So overall, I look at this and I say... <clears throat> what's going on here? It's almost like Tesla is starting to cap out. It's starting to massively slow down even after price caps. And it almost seems like the game is almost up. It's almost up. People that like Farzad that can just start a YouTube channel and just talk about this bubble stock and just promote it and say it's the future and have some like very misleading titles. Like, yeah, okay, they had record production and deliveries. That That's totally out of context. Okay, even if you had record production... The valuation of Tesla is based on future revenue growth, future profitability. And what happens when that revenue growth rate starts to massively slow down and the profits start to decrease? Well, that massively changes the valuation of Tesla. So, you know, you can continue to trust these guys. I hope you don't have a lot of your money in Tesla. If you want to do it as a speculative gamble, sure, go right ahead and do it. Be my guest. But if you're putting all your money and you think this is the ticket to wealth, I feel sorry for you. You need to be careful. You cannot just trust somebody on the internet that is incentivized to promote this stock because they have massive financial gains that they get just from talking about it. They get to sell their Patreons. They get to get YouTube ad revenue. They get all sorts of perks that you don't get, okay? Even if they lost money on Tesla stock, does it matter? They're still gonna be rich. But you, if you're buying Tesla stock because of these people, you're listening to them, guess what? you're going to be in the poorhouse. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, I don't know what to tell you. Talk to you later.